Hello everyone, this is problem 7 in section 7.2. Uh, in this section, one more time, this is about cross-sections and derivative of cross-sections. In this problem, they give you the function f of xy equal to psi y times ln of x plus x squared times cos y. And they ask you to find the following formulas. So in part A, they ask you to find f of 4 comma y. This is, that means you need to find the cross-section of the function when x equal to 4. So when x equal to 4, you substitute x equal to 4 anywhere you see x in this function. That is psi of y times ln of 4 plus 4 square times psi y. If you simplify this, you have ln of 4 times psi of y plus 16 times psi y. For ln of 4, you can use a calculator and you guess the decimal number, it's up to you. Um, you don't have to, but if you want, you can do so. That is part A. In part B, you're going to use this function you just found and then find the derivative of that function with respect to y. That is d of f of 4, comma y with respect to y. Or d dy of ln of 4 times psi y plus 16 cos psi y. In the first term, ln of 4 is the constant. It is the constant multiple when you take the derivative. And the derivative of psi of y is just cos psi of y. So you have ln of 4 times cos psi of y. And for the second term, the derivative of cos psi of y is negative psi y. So you have minus 16 psi of y. In part C, once again, you find cross-sections of the function when y is equal to pi. So f of x comma pi is equal to psi of pi times ln of x plus x squared times psi of pi. Now, if you don't know on top of your head the value of psi of pi or cos psi of pi, you can use a calculator and you find that psi of pi is equal to zero. So zero times ln of x is zero. So the first term will become zero. And once again, if you use the calculator, you find that cos psi of pi is equal to negative one. So the second term is negative x squared. In part D, if you take the derivative of f of x comma pi, that means you take the derivative of negative x squared. And the derivative of negative x squared becomes negative 2x. Right, that is simple. Um, it is the end of problem 7. Please let me know if you have any questions.